Hi everybody, welcome to Magnolia Hill Paper Crafts. Um, for those of you who haven't met me before, I'm Deborah. I've been missing in action for a bit. Um, I lost my confidence a bit and just needed a bit of time. But I have still been working and been busy with crafting. So anyway, I've been making this journal and I've made this. And there's something special inside here. Um, so first off, because this is the first one I did, I'll show you that. Um, get rid of that. Okay, now hopefully you can see. Yep. This is the box I covered. And um, I've put, oh, it's covered in cotton with little paper flowers and some um, paper from... Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah and oh, some stamps I got that was a good haul <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh excuse me that wasn't too good um, I got a big bag of stamps used ones from um, the Crow's Nest in Timaru that's a recycled dump shop and um, the, it was a huge bag it was only six dollars I was so pleased but anyway I've covered the box and I've put a doily, lace doily on it as well and a button and when you open it up here's the rest of the doily I think you can see all this it's, it's a bit dark um, I've got a little journal with secrets written on the front it's made out of a cereal box and um, it's all lace and more papers from Tina. We've got tags. We've got 49 and market flower die cuts. Um, I'll just move this out of the way. Oops, that's come off. We've got paper clip. It's just a little writing space. I might turn the light on and see if that makes a difference. Probably got shadows now. We'll soon see. Turn that round. I've used all sorts of paper in this. There we go. Another one of those little envelopes. Lace. Lace and flowers and little bits to write on it's got uh, two signatures and a little tuck spot there try new things and write on the back flowers and we've got flip out little tuck spot here on the other side of the flip out it's got some piece of paper in it green dyed. There we go. Everything is possible. Be brave. There we go. More lace and flowers. In the middle, because I had such a gap between the stencils, uh, the signatures, I made a little paper bag. And it's got a very skinny bottom, but it just fits perfectly in here. And it's just got a couple of, like a little envelope and some paper. But we can put lots of more things in there. And then the second signature, it's, it's much the same. But I've got, um, my daughter gave me this paper. I believe you can, then you will. Hopefully it's right. <laughs> we'll try it. There we go. More. And this this bike I like him the dandy horse it's called just keep swimming the butterfly the plain tag on the back more papers olive branch birds I love the birds flowers bits to write on lace stenciling 
just all flowers and lace really but lots of places for writing and secrets you know, I don't know what that bird is a scarlet something I think and the Halley Boar winter rose I love that there we go a tag in the back dare to begin that's me today trying again there you go alright um, I made a dangle on it got a dangle in this little bottom bit I'm not sure if you can see it handmade and it's got lace on the outside of the cover so that's one I've done and then it just wraps up the ribbon around the button and I'll have to put that back, key back on shortly okay now this next one um, Natasha Treasure Books inspired me to do this she had a video about um, quilting with paper so I did it and I thought this is, it needs to be grungier so I grunged it up and I've made a cover out of um, cereal box cards and I've used those um, die cut flowers from 49 and Market again and I've made a dangle with well, it's lace and bits of strips of fabric and there's a butterfly in here somewhere there he is and beads hung on chain strung them together it says trust and there's threads I'll pull it later and that's, that's the back I used much the same pattern that's the front there we go now we see it all Right, we've got a tag in each of these. You can write on the back, and they're stamped. All these flowers. And I've made a bookmark with a little thing. I use colouring in book um, as much as anything in here. Um, and I've stenciled that the pages were white, and I've sprayed them with um, some of the rusty water I made up from Sasebo, I can't remember the lady's name, but she tells you how to do it all. And I sprayed it with food colouring and, and dotted it and I also stenciled it. So it's all sort of like a matching theme throughout. And this is a um, vellum pocket. Done. There we go. See? Cut need a couple more tags to go in here but there's a lot of writing space I've stenciled some lines on a lot of the pages there's a um, doily piece of fabric behind some of those and this one I've made an envelope and I've put stamps on it from my haul and I've um, got some paper in here I dyed it with blueberries and that just hops into here this is like probably more of a writing in journal than anything. There we go. It's quite big. Like that's each page is an A4 size. I got used a drawing pad. This is a um, little just a notebook I made up. It's got another envelope in it. Hasn't got anything in it yet. And I just I stapled the pages into there. Is it, um, and I've used watercolour on the, um, some of the colouring in book just to give it some a brightness. And I've used uh, metallic ones as well. Now on here, this was just flapping around, so I've um, put Velcro on it. See flowers. And then that opens up to paper it's stenciled it's the blueberry paper and there's a tag and write on it and a tuck spot in here the butterfly and that's a 
little flip out bit. Right, and then tuck that in. More writing space. Flowers again, a bit of paper. This has got paper in it. It's green this time. I've used green and blue and um, that tea dye colour is a common theme for all the pages. Okay, oh, you're still in shot. That's a little flip. Little envelope, tiny wee envelope. I've just used a paper clip for that. Right, need, this is to remind me to make a tag to go in this pocket. The pages, plenty of room. I bought a um, kids' flower press in um, or between Christmas and New Year, so I've had some flowers and things being drying, pressing. So I've made some tags with them. And this is just a little flip with bits of paper in it. But I've left the um, back open so you can tuck something in it. And some more of the dried I'm not sure that's a New Zealand native. That I think is it's by the yew tree. I'm not sure what it is exactly. It might be yew. Another little envelope. Yeah. Oh, got nothing in it. But it's um, stamped and imagine. I really don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. I'd like to sell them. Anyone is interested or knows someone who could be interested. This, this page, it's like that, so I put a fold on both sides and I cut round here so that the page flips like that. And you can, I haven't coloured this one in at all. There you go. Oh, and this is to remind me to make the tags for here. Two pockets. One of those with a little open up. It says magical. Right, this is another colouring page that I've um, folded the bottom up so that it makes a pocket. And that one says dream. I've placed cards that I got from um, Lincraft I think it's just a card to write on flip that over I've put um, stickles stickles on their tails the birds tails and the bookmark and this I've just cut around here and down the side to make it into a little tuck spot because it was all just one and it came with the set of flowers I've been using. This is another flip out, it's got um, cards, tags, I used uh, cat food boxes, I think, for these ones, these big ones. And the backs were already looked like they're tea dyed, so I left them the way they were. And that's got a wee pocket on it, this one. I've left it so that if you want, you can tuck something in it. Bit of a surprise one that one and then over here we've got 
just some tags that I've put on a bullpen, bullpen, and I've um, tied it through here, and I've got some um, jump rings that you could hang something on if you want, or you can take it out. Got it. You know, more paper in here, the pansies. I hope you can still see this. I've covered that lace. There's sparkle. And we've got another envelope here. Doily. I'll put it up near the top. Some winter roses on it. Over at the centre. Oh. I did a hidden spine on this book. Here we go, there's um, some more of my pressed leaves. This one I haven't really done anything with except make it a fold out page. More winter rose. <laughs> Anybody think I like them? There we go, another envelope tucked in there. Nearly at the end. Stencils and flowers and splotches. This one is a fold out one. It's got a double tuck spot. Got to make tags for that. And then on here, I've hung a stamp and a couple of little tags. Flowers on the back, and I glued a ruffle down the side with some braid, and made by a maker do a arty type. And it's all lined with my blueberry paper, I used fabric. But what I remembered is my hidden spine. First one, I'm so pleased with it. I was terrified it wasn't going to work, but it looks quite good, I reckon. It can't it works? So I guess that's the main thing. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. Um, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, hit the like button, um, leave a comment if there's anything you want to see, and um, I'll be back. I really appreciate your support. I'm thankful. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. Bye.